I'm not only writing this petition to protect my life, but also to protect the lives of the Nigerian police personnel that are working with me, my drivers, and also personnel of the state security service. Because when you attack my convoy, the attack is not just on me, but it's on all those in the convoy, the drivers, the police, and the DSS. Just like it happened in Iyamu, where Commandant Salio Shomole, if uh, the sacked national chairman of APC, uh, alleged that I mobilized an attack on our convoy that he invited to his house. And that convoy, you remember, had the governor and I, and the Oba of Lagos, and some prominent citizens of this country in that particular vehicle going to his house on his invitation, and we were attacked. And the, that same day, he alleged that I arranged that attack on that convoy. And last week campaign, we, had, we were also attacked at Apanai's ward by gunmen. And you're also aware that when they visited Onwa East, the money, 500,000 that Toshomole and his people gave to the youth, they had issue with it, and they started shooting themselves, which led to some Ibiras youth being killed. And there was a, a, a reprisal attack by five youths, some from Ibira, some from Onwa, were killed. Where did they get those arms? That has been the cry we've been shouting. We've been shouting to say that Oshomole is procuring arms and giving to young men to kill themselves. Nothing has been done about it. And we have evidence and of the fact that Oshomole is sponsoring these young ones to kill themselves.